Welcome back Wayfinders. Today I'm going to be showing off some Axe Wax. I've never used this before, but it seems like exactly what I need to take care of my cutting tools. The first cutting tool I'll be working on is my Damascus blade. This is uh, one of the ones that I hand forged, and I've never put any kind of treatment on the handle, so I want to bring back some of that original luster that I had on there from oiling and see if I can increase the grip just a little bit. It's getting quite smooth. I'm also going to be hitting the blade because it was very rusty a few days ago and I pulled it out of its sheath. I had to sand it down. I lost some of my uh, my contrast here and instead of re-etching, I'm going to see if I can bring it back and rejuvenate it a little bit with the axe wax. I have not done much to my other cutting tool yet. You'll see in this video on a time lapse, we're going to scrape off that polyurethane coating that often causes slipping when it gets wet. We're going to sand this down and we're going to apply the axe wax to both the head and the handle, prevent rusting and increase our grip and protect the wood long term. The third use that this has is for protecting leather. So while we soak our Holtzbruck grinding stone for sharpening later, I'm gonna leave this off to the side and we're gonna to try to rub some axe wax into here as well and see if we can protect this as well as protecting our tools. Now I've already played with this a little bit, pulled some out, I rubbed some into my hands earlier. It's quite pleasant. Uh, it smells like a beeswax and citrus blend, kind of like a butcher board treatment, and this can be used as a butcher board treatment as well. For $20 for two ounces, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be buying this for my butcher boards or just using the cheaper stuff off the shelf. However, it is food safe and it is good to go. So let's start off by rubbing this into the handle of my Damascus blade or layered steel would probably be a more appropriate name for it. It's modern day Damascus, which is layered 15 and 20 and 1085, which etches differently uh, with acid. Didn't take much, it spread out real nicely. Then again, this is a pretty well finished handle, so it's not soaking up as much as like a rough handle. I like it so far. It needs to be buffed in. Probably gonna need a little bit more for the blade. It's starting to dry out a little bit. Slippery, makes my hands a little bit slippery. So I'm just gonna leave this open for the rest of the video. I'm approaching from the spine so I don't slip and cut. I like to always hit here, I can get close to the edge. As long as I'm pushing outward from the edge, I shouldn't cut myself. It's pulling in is where you've gotta be careful. All right. Get the back side as well. Got quite a bit on there. Really did bring back that contrast though, so so far I'm pretty happy. The instructions say to buff lightly with a rag. Remove the excess. And already I'm seeing pretty nice results here. I'm not gonna go crazy, I don't wanna remove too much. I want some to soak in over time. However, we will be using this to scrape off the old polyurethane finish on the axe as we go forward, so I don't want it too slippery. Ooh, I like that grip. I actually can really feel it already. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll be using this here in a short time lapse as we work over the, uh, the handle of the axe and we'll do some restoration on that uh, for the next portion of the video.
All right, so we've got our lightly sanded up top. Uh, I've only had some high grit sandpapers. So I wasn't able to dig down deep and get a mirror shine on this thing, but I was able to knock off the rust, rub a little bit of wax in there and protect it from the future. The handle is done as well, rubbed in wax. I can feel that the grip has already changed over the course of the last 10 minutes. Um, far more sturdy, far more controllable. Uh, so overall, I'm super happy with the effects on the axe. Wipe off a little bit more. As for the knife, it's had even longer to cure or dry or solidify. Um, I'm, I'm extremely happy with that. Totally rejuvenated the blade. Good grip on the handle as well. Smells good. I know if I cut and I use this on uh, food items that I'm still good to eat. Still edible as it's food safe. And the leather actually looks really good too. All in all, the verdict is it's a buy. I'm very happy with it. If you're interested in learning more about my knife, I've got a knife video. If you're interested in the Haltzbruck grinding puck that I used, I have it sitting over here soaking. There you go. It's a really nice grinding puck for axes and knives. This is my go-to. I'm using a water on this instead of an oil compound and I explain that in detail in the Haltzbruck video. Uh, overall, I say axe wax is a buy. All right. Thanks for stopping in. If you like the video, feel free to like, share, subscribe. Anything that you do helps the channel. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you and have a wonderful day.